memorial was also held at the World Trade Center. Families and friends recited the names of the fallen. One grieving relative talked about his concern that the terrorist attacks are still being used by politicians. Please, stop using the bones and ashes of our loved ones as props in your political theater. Their lives, sacrifices, and death are worth so much more. Let's not trivialize them or us. It hurts. Meanwhile, at the Pentagon, Vice President Mike Pence and Defense Secretary James Mattis spoke with victims' families. They laid a wreath at the memorial. The September 11 terrorist attacks killed almost 3,000 people. More than 6,000 were injured. And many first responders continue to suffer from health problems to this day. The mass exodus to escape a monster storm on the East Coast is underway tonight. More than 5.4 million people are now under hurricane warnings or watches. Hurricane Florence is still a Category 4 storm expected to hit the Carolinas on Thursday. Right now, it's barreling across the Atlantic, packing 130 mile an hour winds. Forecasters are worried the storm will dump rain over multiple East Coast states and could easily cause flash flooding in other parts of the region. The waves and the wind this storm may bring is nothing like you've ever seen. Even if you've ridden out storms before, this one is different. Don't bet your life on riding out a monster. We will experience power outages. We will have infrastructure damage. There will be homes damaged. There will be uh, debris on the roads. Uh, this will be a storm that creates and causes uh, massive damage to our, our uh, country. Don't bet your life on riding out a monster. Words yeah. to remember. More than a million people are under evacuation orders in multiple states have declared states of emergency, telling people to do what they can right now to prepare. In South Carolina, troopers reversed the direction of an interstate to help ease traffic backups. All of the coastal counties in that state started evacuating at noon today. Schools and state offices will remain open tomorrow, but many of them are closing early. Let's check in. Chief Meteorologist Bill Bellis is tracking the path of the storm. Yeah, Don, I'll tell you, we're starting to see a little bit more uncertainties here with some of the computer models and where this thing is actually going to make landfall. But a hey, massive storm, very symmetrical. These red colors here, those are the enhanced or uh, enhanced satellite, the cold higher cloud top. But a very symmetrical storm. We found the 130 in terms of wind speeds earlier. Two games I get up to I'll do with the same. Almost all of North and South Carolina coastlines under I hurricane think they warning. The, same, the projected path by the hurricane versions. center remains unchanged. Landfall a little earlier here on Friday between Wilmington and Moorhead City. I'll show you some of the computer models which are beginning to turn the storm towards South Carolina. I have the full details on that coming up. Thank you, Bill. Coming up next, back to the workers. Well, this one's better though. It's something not talked about enough, but we all...
all know someone experiencing mental health challenges. And whether it's a parent, a friend, or a child, they need our help. But here in Illinois, we've failed to support mental health services. And as a result of the recent budget that crisis, 80,000 people lost access to the care. We have to prioritize mental health care in Illinois. And when I'm governor, we will. When you see a burger with bold sauces, fresh ingredients, and starting at six ninety nine, you can only get a burger and fries starting at six ninety nine. Illinois politicians have turned corruption into an art form.
tired. <laughs> he accused of covering up for Theodore McCarran. <laughs> and adults. A school in Georgia plans to paddle a spank student. <laughs>